Um, okay guys, welcome back to another video on the channel, and just r random video, you know, for you guys. Um, currently it's December the 29th, as you can see by this video, but this YouTuber by the name of J Gamer, sorry, Gamer J, um, mentioned me in this video called I Sent Brent TV the Most Cursed Spongebob Popsicle. Um, See, as you can see, it's got Brent TV, Nick T Guy, and me, Pax Rick Star. So let's take a listen to the part of the video where he mentions me. It's actually kind of cool. I just reacted to it off camera, so that's why now I'm going to re react to it on camera. Let's go! So for this design, we're going to keep it pretty simple. To start, let's remove the eyes. This will give us a blank canvas to work with. Now it looks like a Canadian version of a SpongeBob popsicle. Just ask Paxwick Star, he'll tell you. Next, we're going to embed. See, like that's so cool, bro. They didn't even have to mention me. Like I'm very shocked. I got mentioned by a YouTuber that has over a thousand, that has over four thousand subscribers. I mean, yeah, it's not Brent TV or anything, which he has like over two million, but still, this is a huge accomplishment. He gets a subscription. Let me tell you, I don't care if he makes like boring videos or anything. He mentioned me, so he's gonna get a new subscriber. Who's me? Obviously, right? And hopefully, you guys can go subscribe to him too. Shout out to him. Embed a piece of sheet metal inside our popsicle. And to finish, we'll create magnetic eyes that will stick to the surface of the popsicle. The end result can't be achieved until you subscribe to the channel. So here it is, yeah, it the most did. cursed SpongeBob popsicle. So to wow. begin the build, we need to print our 3D model. Okay, now let's remove the supports. This was printed with a metallic filament, but it just wasn't strong enough, so we ended up using a metal sheet instead. So here we are, removing the eyes. And now we need to make a template for our metal sheet. Sorry the quality's bad. They just posted I guess. Usually when you just post stuff the quality's bad. We'll use our template to cut out a piece of tin metal sheet. Wow. So the idea here is to put our metal sheet inside our 3D model. That will allow our gumball magnets to stick. Now we need to make a cutout so we can embed our metal sheet. This is pretty damn cool. What is he? He's taking apart. Oh, he's doing that. After that's done, now gotcha. we just need to fill in the gaps and smooth out our that, model. What? Like, it looks like chocolate. Sorry, I'm Can't forget the it. popsicle stick. Oh, it's red, isn't it? Stupid. <laughs> I mean, it looks like it. Without, to get the dimensions the right, right, colors, right, we used real gumball eyes. Because it's going to oh. be 2023, we ended up making 23 eyes. Huh. Now it's time for the painting process. That's cool. We're going to use a white base because it really makes the color pop. Now we need to sketch our details before painting. That is so cool. Here's our freshly painted SpongeBob popsicle. That. Now that the paint's done drying, we just need to glue in the neodymium magnets. And there you have it. The most cursed SpongeBob pop. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 19, 20, 20 in the world. That never melts. Much. So we made 23 oh, eyes, but we could only fit 20 eyes yeah. on the popsicle. There's room yeah. for 23, but if you tried to add more eyes, they would literally fly off. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Brent, if you're watching this, we love to see you build the most cursed SpongeBob popsicle that never melts. Like this, or like this. Sure. Oh, uh, okay. No, the thing we're not that's different that. about a Virgo no, vacation no, home. Come on, no mute. No, come on. No, let's go to the beginning. Just want to. Looks see like a Canadian version of a SpongeBob. 
It's a blank canvas to work with. Now it looks like a Canadian version of a SpongeBob popsicle. Just ask Paxwick Star, he'll tell you. Next, we're going to embed That's a piece of so it looks like a Canadian cool. version. Guys, this so for this popsicle kit and send it to Brent TV. You've got mail. Let's go. So for this design, we're going to keep it pretty simple. To start, let's remove the eyes. This will give us a blank canvas to work with. Now it looks like a Canadian version of a SpongeBob popsicle. Just ask Paxwick Star, he'll tell you. Next, we're going to embed a piece of sheet metal inside our popsicle. And to finish, we'll create magnetic eyes that will stick to the surface of the popsicle. The end. I'm sorry, but the fact that they mentioned this will give us a blank canvas insane. to work with. Now it looks like a Canadian version of a SpongeBob popsicle. Just ask Paxwick Star, he'll stars. tell you. Next, we're